Gaza is suffering the world's worst current hunger crisis. At least 15 children have now died from starvation in Gaza. A photo of Yazan al kafarna a severely malnutritioned 10-year-old Palestinian boy who had cerebral palsy, has been going viral online. He had been receiving treatment at a hospital in Rafah, but he died of severe malnourishment on March 4. After declaring war on Hamas on October 7, Israel has imposed a total siege of Gaza, blocking food, fuel and water from entering. This has pushed quarter of Gaza's population to the brink of famine, according to the United Nations. On March 4, after five months, the World Health Organization was finally allowed to enter the northern Gaza, which has been completely cut off from aid for weeks. The director of the WHO said people were facing severe levels of malnutrition, as well as shortages of food, fuel and medical supplies. The WHO said 90% of children under the age of 2 and 95% of pregnant and breastfeeding women are not getting enough food. 95% of households are having to limit meals and portion sizes, with most families having to eat only one meal a day. Over 95% of families said they are restricting the amount of food adults eat so that children have food to eat. WHO has warned that 1 in 6 children under the age of 2 in Gaza are suffering from acute malnutrition and almost 3% of them are suffering from severe wasting when the body becomes emaciated. Young children are at the highest risk of medical complication and death unless they receive urgent treatment according to the WHO. The WHO said that the data are from January so the situation is most likely worse now. On February 29, Israeli forces opened fire on Palestinians trying to get food aid in what is now being called the Flower Massacre, killing more than 112 people and injuring more than 750 others. The situation is so bad that the US, UK, France, Egypt and Jordan have started airdropping humanitarian aid into Gaza. However, aid agencies said airdrops are an inefficient way of getting supplies to people and the supplies being dropped are not nearly enough for the needs of the population. Follow for more updates on the situation in Gaza.